Hi, my name is Nick Church and welcome to a new episode of The Studio. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Godox ML60 by lights. Now I got these lights from the great people at Central Photo Decoder UK. There is a link in the description below for this specific light, but also there's a 10% discount code, which is Nick Church, which will get you 10% off anything in their store. Now I should mention that neither Central Photo or Godox have sponsored this post, so these were bought my own money and they're my own unbiased opinion on these lights. And I say that because I like these lights a lot. All right, so we're gonna see what you get in the box and the things you don't, and we'll look at some of the functionality, the features, and the quality of this light in use. So what do you get in the box? Well, the first thing you notice is you get a really good case with the product. I love what manufacturers think about how we're gonna carry stuff around rather than just providing it in a cardboard box with polystyrene inserts. That's a really welcome addition. So inside here, we've got the light, obviously. Now the light runs off power, mains power or batteries. So we've got our mains battery pack, uh, sorry, mains power supply. So this is for studio applications. I've got two of these lights on me at the moment. So they're both running off their mains power. There's also a battery connector. So that's how you, where you put your batteries. Now the batteries are not included in the product, but they're the standard Sony MPF style batteries, which most lights use. And most of us have got these already, but do bear in mind, you'll need to buy some of those if you haven't got some already. There's also a uh, reflector to get that light source going forward if you've not got any other modifier. So that's in there. And finally, we've got this grip. Now this is a great device because it's the hand, it allows you to do handheld lighting really easily. This just screws straight onto there. And also it's got a quarter inch light stand mount as well. So very quickly, you can get everything out of the box, the light on top of there, pop it into a light stand and you're up and running within 30 seconds of opening the box. This uh, battery connector also connects onto here, so that's how you would use battery power. And the only other thing in here is this little cable. So it connects your battery power into your light, should it be on top. Now the other things you can get is a remote control for the product, but as we'll see later, there's an app which you can get for your iPhone or Android phone, which is just fantastic. So that does everything that remote control um, does, but it's free, so you don't need to have the remote control as far as I'm concerned. So before I got hold of these lights, I was using a standard LED panel. So that was 660 standard LEDs across the full surface of the light. This is a different technology. It uses COB, which is chip on board, which means very tightly packed LEDs all bonded together in the center there to create a single bright light source. Now the advantages of this type of light, the COB light for me is the size. So this is a much smaller unit to carry around and, and use. The power of the lights is generally much greater with COB technology. So for example, this light is currently on 45% and this one is on just 4%. So they throw a lot of light at you. The, for reference, the old light panels I was using had to be much closer and I needed boom arms to get them as close as possible to me without being in shot. Not, not so with these, they can just be on standard light stands. The other thing is the attachment options. So this light will attach any of the Godox mount light lighting products. So for example, soft boxes, umbrellas, or any beauty dishes, anything that fits the Godox uh, attachment will go straight onto there really easily. But also you can get a, um, what's called a smart bracket. Now this is supplied by PixPro as well, and you can get it, you can get the lights on its own in the case, or you can get it shipped with this as well. And this is 20 quid extra, so it's a bit of a no brainer. So what this lets you do, it's a, a standard um, S bracket as, you've seen before, so that just sits on a light stand. If you want any Bowens mount lights, you can put your flash in there. But this bit will come out, which allows that light just to pop in there, and I can attach it onto a light stand, and then attach any of the other modifiers that I've got in the studio, so bigger soft boxes. so that's a really useful bit of kit there. The other thing with the standard LED light panels is that they're already quite a big light source. So on one hand, that's great because it means that if in a push, you can just get the light up on a stand and unmodified, it's gonna look probably okay um, as it is. If you wanna get a bigger light source on those on those type of lights though, you're gonna need to try and get a soft box around it. And those products tend to be very fiddly to fit around the already quite large light. If you wanna get a hard light source where you need the light really small, you just can't do that on an LED panel. On this type you can because you've got a very small light source to start with. So let's look at this light in a bit more detail. This is now mounted on the grip, battery grip with the two batteries. So on the rear here is how we control the light. So there's, there's a very simple control. There's an on off button, there's a power rotator, and also a temperature. 
value as well. So power wise, this is 1%. And so you can see the effect it has if I ramp it up to 100 on the background, it's extremely bright there. Temperature wise, it will go from 2800 Kelvin up to 65. 100 Kelvin. So it's a really good range to be able to match in any ambient temp any other lighting you've got or ambient lighting to try and match those together. The instantly the version without that color temperature is just called the ML60. So the buy bit means that color temperature control. The ML60 is a fixed daylight light, so you can't change the temperature, but it does go a little bit brighter as a result. So it's 13,000 lux rather than 11,000 lux at one meter which in any case, 11,000 is fine for me. So I would like that flexibility of the being able to change the temperature. The other, other, only other switch you have is on the front, which just locks in the Godox bayonet fitting into there. There Now, because that COB technology does get quite warm, there is a fan in here, but it's extremely quiet. If there's somebody breathing in your scene, that breathing is gonna be louder than this fan. But even then for extremely critical applications, you can turn the fan off in the settings all right so that and it supports bluetooth so you can do that through the settings here or via the app okay build wise it's extremely well made i'm really pleased with how solid everything is it's completely metal construction um, maybe apart from the back here and it just feels like it would take a knock if it needed to and it just seems like a very good solid setup as i mentioned you can buy a additional remote control for the light but the app for your iPhone or Android is a fantastic way to do that and just saves you needing to buy anything. You can set up the different lights. It looks for the lights over Bluetooth and you can just add them to different groups and then lock in all the settings. So I've got a YouTube group set up here. It connects to those and it remembers the settings of those groups. So if I turn the lights off, put them away, get them back out again, I can dial straight back in to the, this situation I've got now. So I can control everything from the lights. I can turn them off completely. I can turn off the main key light. Turn off that fill light a little bit. Um, and from there, I can also change the temperature. So let's look at the range of temperature. This is now 2800. I'm going to go all the way up to 6500. So that's really cool. So let's go down to 5000. This is at 64% at the moment. Um, that's the full brightness. And that's down to 1 or 2% or completely off. All right, so it's just really handy to be able to save all of that stuff into one scene and just recall that straight away. The other thing, if you're bored, you can create a fire type effect and just have that in your scene. And or fireworks, pretend you're at a fireworks show. Um, so you can have lots of fun with that. And um, yeah, worth getting the app for sure because it saves you having to go between two different lights, especially when you want to be able to see what's happening on, on your monitor and make changes while you're still in scene. In terms of attachments, another really great product that you can get from Godox is this silicon little soft box. Now this is great because it packs small for your case, but it pops out, you just chuck it straight on here and that's a good, softbox option for a handheld light. You can see how quickly you could set up lighting at an event or something like that. So that's a really useful addition. I'll put a link for that below as well. So in conclusion, I really love these lights. I love the small solid package. I love the power they've got with the variable temperature control. And I love my ability to be able to modify the light to fit what I need, including making a very hard light with a small light source, which I couldn't do with my flat panel LEDs. These are gonna be great for events, for studio work like this. And the color temperature is even graded for professional use for broadcast type applications as well. I think even, uh, for photography, I think in a, if you're in a studio and you're doing product photography where you've got control of your ambient light, then this is going to be a great way to be able to get the shot you want. And the advantage of continuous lighting, of course, is you can see what the shot's going to look like before you take it. Now, of course, the disadvantage of continuous light is you can't push out any ambient light, so you are limited to being in a studio where you can get rid of all your ambient light first. But that said, I think that's going to be a really good option. So that's all for today, and thank you for joining me, and I really look forward to seeing you next time in the studio.